Hello, everybody. We are going to have a little rant on Sad Lolita, known as Caitlyn. Um, as a person who has dealt with her since 2016 and most other artists, and um, I don't know if they want to be mentioned, but I know they go by Visceral Tonic, Ellie Cartoons, probably Minx the Cheetah, and a few other people have dealt with Kate. And um, recently she has attacked um, a minor named um, Lovesick. And she goes by the name Miranda. Um, so before I post the evidence that she has of manipulating, gaslighting, and all that above stuff to Lovesick, and showing proper evidence of what she's been doing for the recent years, I'm going to speak my story about how I've dealt with Caitlyn for four or five years now. And um, I want people to get the side of the story and, you know, People can speak their own stories, too, if they want to, but I'm going to be speaking of mine till further notice, so please sit and listen to my story. So, back in 2016, me and her met from the rants that I had from, you know, the recent users, Mr. Tonic, Ellie, and all that. Um, we became friends, and the only thing she really wanted from me was art and basically, you know use me for drama between me and Viss's arguments and me and Minx and all that above stuff. And um, how I knew that she was basically guilt tripping me and basically using me as, you know, oh yeah, she's talking shit and everything to escalate the drama between me and Viss and all that. Um, after I found that out from other people, I stopped being friends with her and so forth. And... Um, you know, she was trying to tell, you know, these artists that I was talking shit and all that. And then after I told them, I'm like, well, this is what I got from Kate. And, you know, she was talking shit about them and basically like telling one person what I said and then telling me what they said kind of thing, hearsay. And then I guess, you know, they had enough of her because she, you know, doing the same thing and, you know, they blocked her and all that so forth. And um, back when I was in a relationship, um, well, with my ex, Sam, um, she made a Sona based off me of my hyena Sona and my Timberwolf Sona, and she basically claimed it as her new character, and she has a habit of doing that too, where she would take your characters or your Sona and remake them to villains or whatever for her Sona, because, quote-unquote, we hurt her and gaslighted her and all that in the fourth, um, not only has she done that in 2017 and I caught her and then she apologized and wanted to be friends right away. Um, she did this recently of 2019 of December, but we're still on the topic of 2016-17 when I dealt with her. So, as continued, um, she started making gifts and fan art of me out of the blue after we made up. And she met with my boyfriend first and then he introduced me to her. And I remember I messaged him saying, dude, that's... The girl that was, you know, harassing me and using me as beef between me and Viss and all that kind of stuff. And he didn't know about that, so he just kept his low and just was like, just deal with it. And somehow she found my Facebook and my family. And this is where everything starts to escalate. So, as things continued, she not only, she has made not safe a work art at a young age. I mean, I have too, but... She made it way before I have, and everybody should know about Boyfriend to Death. She got into that when she was 15 and made Not Safe, not safe for Work Art of her Sona, who was, like I said, back then was 15 with this character Strayed, who is a greasy German man who kidnaps you, and if he, lo if he loves you too much, he will verbally kill you, and last I remember is that he will fuck your organs. So, yeah, that was kind of disturbing, but, um... Uh, I have the messages between me and her from, like, that year, but I have the art of it, but because of YouTube and the age restriction and the audience, I will not show that kind of part, even if I censor it, because, again, the community guidelines. So, anywho, after me and her stopped being friends, she made a rant on me also on her YouTube channel back then, and she mentioned, she mentioned my father involved. Because my father was defending me when all of this happened. Because, you know, that's what a parent does with their kid. They defend you. And, you know, she was basically going around saying, oh, he's daddy long legs. You know, 
He doesn't care what his kid does. He's a bad father. I heard that, you know, he's abusive, this, that, and the third. And that really pissed me off because I really do not like when people make false occasions to my father because none of it is true because I live with him and that's my fucking father. But, you know, after I called her out on that, um, recently in the beginning of uh, October, November, I called her out that she never apologized for it. And then she was like, I actually did, but you're too deaf, you know, dumb to realize it and I said you never apologized for me for it and she gave me a lame apology for it I said you shouldn't even be apologizing to me for what you said about my father you should be apologizing to my father for what you said now back to now middle of 2017 there was this girl that I guess was bullying her for four years and she told me to message her so I did and I told the girl a lot of shit that I shouldn't have said because I didn't know the chick And I guess the chick's mother messaged my father, and then my father asked what was up, and then I told him. And then Kate was like, I never told your daughter to do it, she just did it. And there was proof that she told me to do it, this, that, and the third. And I remember that the girl's mother strictly said about, you know, how Kate is manipulative, that she's a pathological liar. She makes up stories about other people because she wants to play victim, this, that, and the third. Now, my dad told me to stay away from her. Now, like I said... I was dumb to keep going back to her and forgiving her, but this is the last final strike I actually, like, forgave Kate because, like I said, she will never change for her actions. But as this continues of how I dealt with her, there is more tea to this than just about other people. And this is the story how, again, I've dealt with her. But as the story continues, then there was, um... 2019 this is how it got worse because 2018 for us was fine but 2019 got worse so in september she started bringing up my past of what i've done to her basically lying saying i gaslighted her i manipulated manipulated her this that and the third and now everybody has known known that there was recent vent art speed paints that i made that i said you know i've been depressed suicidal all that kind of stuff Caitlyn basically gaslighted me and tried telling me with her, quote, Tulpas, who is slime and trick, but it was mainly this guy, Trickster. She and this, quote, Tulpa guy was basically self-diagnosing me, saying, I'm not depressed, I'm not suicidal, I'm just delusional, and I'm just going insane. Now, after she kept self-diagnosing me, knowing that she doesn't have a degree to diagnose me, she's not a therapist, she has nothing, all of that stuff. So, like I said, her self-diagnosing me. I started being more depressed and suicidal because, like I said, I've had a rough, like, I want to say a rough childhood, but I had a rough start in middle school getting bullied and threatened and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I just been very depressed. And because my grandmother at the time, when she was an alcoholic and a bipolar, this, that, and the third, I, that's, so, like I said, she just self-diagnosed me and... Me and her weren't, like, we were fine, but we weren't friends because she was like, till you start changing and being the proper person, da 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 I'll be friends and your sister again, you'll be back in my bio, this, that. I literally had to change myself because of this bitch, let's be honest. And lately, and this is in November, now me and her had a huge argument in November, and she started selling off my Sona design that, I was currently making, but she made for me, and then she wanted to sell it because it was a gift. Now, she made a lot of false stuff about me, and I have evidence of my claim of what she's done to me and how she blackmailed me and all that stuff, so I will show that. So, after she was like, oh, you're gonna do this payment for me for the design, oh, if it's not done, then, you know, it's off, it's going to someone else, this, that, and the third. So, my dad was like, you know what, tell her to message me. So, I said, my dad wants to message you. And she was like, well, I'm not going to get yelled at by an adult this time and the third. I'm like, well, you're 18 and he's older. It's an adult conversation. How hard is it? And my dad messaged her. He's like, you gave it to my daughter as a gift. You shall not take it back. And because of copyright, I will get a copyright to make sure if you do take it, you're giving me the money for it because you are breaking the law. And all that stuff. Now, this was on November 14th when it all started. And that's how me and her stopped being friends the first time, and it was the final. November 15th, I got told to kill myself in my school in the girls' bathroom's uh, hallway, and I got hospitalized. And 
I got told by the doctors that I need a therapist. So on November 16th, I went to a therapist because I was out of school because of the situation. And my principal was like, for her to calm down, she will come back to school next week. But then it was vacation, like, you know, Thanksgiving and shit. So I basically went back in December because of, you know, Thanksgiving break. I went to my therapy for the first time and I was talking about, you know, how I've been feeling, the situation with me and Kate and all that kind of stuff. They literally, my therapist and my psychiatrist both said that I have a depressive disorder, I have bad suicidal thoughts, I have bad anxiety, I have insomnia. And when I told them that Kate was self-diagnosing me, they said she had no right to self-diagnose me because she didn't know what she was talking about. She is not properly a therapist or a psychiatrist, nor does she have a degree to self-diagnose me. Now, when I was a junior, I started feeling like I had some kind of like spiritual guide, guardian, or I had my own topo because I even talked to my therapist saying, hey, because they normally said it's my self-conscious because I created it. And when I mentioned Napoleon and they said, if I created him, I said, well, yeah, I kind of did. They said, well, he's your topo. So I'm sitting here like, oh, so Kate told me that he's not my topa, is my topa. But I don't really mention Apollyon because that's my business. But I was also diagnosed that Apollyon is more likely my topa. But they normally say where I'm at, your topa is your self-conscience. So Kate was wrong about everything about me and self-diagnosed me the wrong way. And I remember... Not only did I get threatened at school to kill myself, but on that same day, she literally made a live stream on her Instagram saying, oh, she lied about cutting their cash scratches. Oh, she faked suicide. Oh, she faked depression. She faked this, that, and the third. Basically calling me out on shit that is false information. And after one of my friends told me about that because they were on her stream telling me what she was saying and everything, I literally went to the school and I made a complaint about it. And they said, well, if she keeps this, Sorry, it paused, and somehow I lost the file. But anyway, they said if she keeps this up, that, you know, she's going to get into illegal trouble for it. Now, I got diagnosed the next day, which was the 16th, the, the my new date of my therapist and psychiatrist. Um, I got diagnosed with a depressive disorder, anxiety, insomnia, sometimes panic attacks, because of closed spaces and it freaks me out when a trigger word happens and all that. So Kate was self-diagnosing me with this guy trickster that she claims that is a topa. Now she gave me the wrong definition saying, oh, only schizophrenia people have topas. Um, I physically, as an adult, I talked to my therapist and my psychiatrist. And I said, is it true that only people who are schizophrenic can have, like, these self-conscious tulpas. Like, whether it's self-conscious or their tulpas. And my psychiatrist said, schizophrenic people are not the only ones that will have their own demons and their own tulpas. They said, you can have your own self-conscious or your tulpas when you're either schizophrenic, when you're very depressed, because you're creating it. Or any kind of symptom. It's not skin... Like, after he told me that, I'm like, oh, because... Caitlin was going around saying only people who are schizophrenic get topas. He's like, no. She is wrong. She is not a psychiatrist nor a therapist, nor does she have a degree or a diploma for that kind of stuff. So she, once again, was self-diagnosing you that you did not have this stuff. So... There we go with Caitlyn lying. So as Caitlyn was not only self-diagnosing me, but lying to me to think I'm crazy, she was trying to tell me that Apollyon wasn't my tulpa. And then recently tried saying, oh, he's your spirit guardian. I talked to my therapist again about Apollyon because Apollyon at first was an ass because... Like I told my therapist, I think the only reason why he was an ass was because I was hanging out with Caitlyn. And he didn't like her, and he kept warning me about her. But then, he started being more of a comfort type, where whenever I'm depressed, or I'm having anxiety, or I start freaking out, or 
feel suicidal, he normally comes around and is like, no, don't do it. Be in a happy place. Now, recently, I, I, could, I have, like, this new thing, and I only created him when I was raging and aggravated. His name's Cryptic. But I see him as my other Tulpa, but he's only around when I rage. So he's like a punching bag. But anywho, my, you know, like I said, my psychiatrist and therapist would tell me that Caitlyn is wrong. Now, Caitlyn has also self-diagnosed herself before and hasn't gotten the proper help that she actually needed. So for her to self-diagnose herself, trying to think that she knows what she has, you might as well want to go to a doctor or and get signed up to therapy first before you know that you have what you got. Because, like I said, my family has a history because of my mom's side. My grandmother, who was an alcoholic and shit, she overdosed. Um, don't mind the knocking. That was my sister, but I'm outside. But, um, no. Um, on my mom's side, there was a history of, you know, suicide, alcohol, and overdose. On my dad's side is pretty sure depression or something. But because of that history, it's not because... Of that was led to me it was because um you know people just form that it's not because they took it from this their family or whatever like a gene or whatever it it's just a thing but um no uh as i was saying again kate was self-diagnosing me and my therapist said we know what you have you already diagnosed you so don't listen to her and, oh, as I was saying, yeah, um, don't self-diagnose yourself because if you get the wrong definition and you're not knowing what you are or what you got, it's best to either go to a doctor or, you know, make an appointment with a therapist and be like, hey, this is what I've been feeling. I need to know what I got. And like I said, the answer I got was I have a depressive disorder in what I just listed. So, yeah, as I continue. So enough about my story about her, because I am a victim to this case. And, oh, yeah, also, I have recent screenshots where she got mad at me because I confronted her that her behavior and her attitude is shit. She mentioned my therapist in my life. She mentioned a lot of things and then made a new account and said that I was a refrigerator and I fight like a kid. Mind you, I have three fight videos from high school. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that she called me a refrigerator, my sister literally was like, bro, if she's calling you a refrigerator, then that means you have shit good inside, and she don't. But that was a side joke from this morning. But anyway, um, I know people want to tell their own stories of how they dealt with Kate and their situations with her, and that is fine because I'm not, if they, like, I don't really know, like, their full stories, but I know their experience with her. So, like I said, if they're going to go and make a video about how they experienced with Kate and how they dealt with her and this, that, and the third, that is their, you know, um, oh, fuck. That's them deciding if they want to do that. But I only did this because it was a suggestion and because I am telling you my situation and my story of dealing with Satellite, known as Caitlyn. And, you know, like I said, she is mentally ill. She threatens, harasses, manipulates, gaslights, lies, traces, and docks people. So I want y'all to be aware of Salalita. And further ado, I'm going to show screenshots of me and Caitlyn since 2016 till 2019 and 2020 and then i'm going to show screenshots of um a story from musical love sick love who sick miranda and basically show proof of what kate's been doing so i enjoy you guys sitting there and enjoying listening to me ramble and hearing my side of the story of all this and I would like if everyone, you know, took their time and looked at the evidence and read through and skimmed and, you know, make aware post of her or as much as you can. Because I don't want young artists or experienced artists dealing with this because as someone who's dealt with Caitlyn for four years and other people who dealt with her for four or five years, 
do not need this. So I thank you all for listening and taking your time skimming through all of this. Thank you. Also, I do not have a screenshot of the recent, but after she called me a refrigerator, she mentioned that she was going to message my boyfriend and tell him false information about me and basically try ruining me in his relationship. So, yeah, there's that too. She will try to do that as well. So be known for that too. This is a journal that she made in 2016 about me and how she mentioned about my family and so forth. Oh, so if y'all know who Bon Sukabus is on Instagram, well, on her old or recent DeviantArt, she commissioned a yitch from her, which is not safe for work art, of her 15-year-old self with her tulpa. So, yeah, and that's what she lied about. And then when I found that out and found the journal and liked it, that's when Kate noted me and was like, do you hate me? Like, all that kind of stuff. Basically guilt tripping me, saying that she was, you know, her PayPal was quote-unquote acting up, and then I went from hacking and this, that, and the third. So, yeah, there is that, too. She is also a scammer. Plus, she is known for wanting free art, not friendship. This is where I mentioned where she blackmailed me, guilt trips me, and also harassed me to make her free art for a design that was rightfully mine. And this is on Discord. So, yeah. This is what I mentioned in the beginning. So, please take your time to pause and read this. Because this is juicy details. Twenty nineteen of December is when I found out that she traced traced Sleepy Grim, who is a popular YouTuber who makes animations and a popular DeviantArt artist. Here's where I mentioned where she called me a refrigerator and you know decided to use my last name in an argument.
Here is the overlaid art. She traced a ref sheet as well from an artist who made it by herself. That is sad. Let's not forget, in the end of 2018, beginning 2019, she traced another favorite artist that she made fan art for, and her name went by Primadonna or something on DeviantArt. So, yeah. That's, uh, the tea for that. So, yeah. There is old and recent traced artwork. It's sad that an 18-year-old still does it. You can tell they don't look alike, but you can tell she did some tweaks on it, but it's still the same. It's just a, there's just a few tweaks and, you know, that kind of jazz. Now I will start showing the screenshots and evidence from Lovesick and the things that she's been doing since yesterday, well, this morning. So, yeah. This is gonna be a long, juicy one. Very long and juicy. Yes, there's a Google Docs about her. Please check it out.
I give credit to Lovesick, aka Miranda, and a few others in Viswatonic for the stories and the evidence provided. And you should check them out. They're really good artists, and so is Miranda. So please give support to Lovesick Miranda. It would be very appreciated. And I'm sorry for like a 33 minute video, but it all sums up to the whole situation and the story behind it. So thank you all for watching and listening and hearing me ramble. If you have situations that you've dealt with Sad Lolly Dog, Caitlin, and you want to share your story, please do. That would be very appreciated. So thank you. You can like, subscribe, and share. And um, I'll post more content soon. So see you later. Also, I apologize for the background noises with the cars and trucks and everything, but uh, <laughs> I, I had to go outside for the last couple of minutes. So uh, yeah, enjoy this track picture and like, you know, again, like, comment, and uh, share. <laughs>